Hi, I'm Discipline Dave, where I put the technique in your physique. In this video, we're going to talk about why resistance bands are better than free weights. Now, before the comments go crazy, I'm not anti-free weights. It's just that once I realized how much resistance bands benefit me fitness-wise, it took my fitness to a whole nother level. So I'm here to share what I've learned and with you so you can understand why you should be using resistance bands. Now I use resistance bands currently about 90% of my workouts and I will show you why that is. So before we get started, let's talk about the history of bodybuilding or body sculpting when it comes to getting that nice physique because in this channel we really were looking forward to get that great aesthetic look on that physique. Let's talk about the evolution of fitness when it came into the industry. Free weights have been around for the longest time. If you take a look at old bodybuilders before resistance bands came along, if you take a look, like here's an example, Arnold Schwarzenegger, everyone knows who he is. So if you look at this photo, you see that Arnold has very big muscles, a lot of density to him. Great physique, by the way. Um, he looks he looks really good now Technology came along as far as what we learn about How to contract the muscle the best then you started seeing resistance bands and cables showing up in gyms and With that we learn that we can be a more efficient with using cables or resistance bands Here's an example of modern bodybuilders. This is Ronnie Coleman as you can see looks great okay i'm not saying that arnold doesn't but you see he has more veins um he's more striated as uh, you see a lot more definition and it's it's that physique is a very it pops out and there's reasons why that happens because cables and resistance bands were the evolution when it came to working out with weights free weights are great don't get me wrong but that little extra detail that you need to get to get that really popping physique will happen with resistance bands and cables. So we're gonna talk about the reasons why this is. When it comes to using cables or resistance bands, you're really gonna get those extra muscle fibers, as you saw in that example of Ronnie Coleman. And the reason why you're getting that, you're gonna have better range of motion. And when I talk about range of motion, Here's an example with using a barbell when you're doing a bench press. You're gonna notice that the barbell stops at the chest. So when you're coming down, your chest can't fully expand the stretch because the barbell is limiting that action that's happening. But you say to yourself, what about dumbbells? Well, with dumbbells, you're great when it comes to getting the negative, as you see in this example. You can come all the way down and stretch that chest out. But when you're coming up, even if you close your hands in close, you'll notice that your hands or the dumbbells itself are stopping it from completely contracting. Now I'll show you here with an example of where resistance bands where you're gonna benefit from. So if you take a look at a cable fly, which is basically a bench press standing up, you'll see that the hands can come across the middle plane of your chest so you can contract even harder to get all those extra little muscle fibers and getting those muscle fibers are what you need to get growth in order to get that good development that you want in your chest so that is another reason why using resistance bands is so beneficial another example is that resistance bands make you honest in your strength curve and when i say the strength curve here is that i'm going to show you an example of a bicep curl as you notice here with the dumbbell, when you get up about 50%, your strength curve, as far as how difficult it is because of gravity, is lessened when you're getting ready to close your arm. And so what that does is it makes it so that the workout is a little bit easier at the top. Now, when we switch to this example here with resistance bands, you'll notice that your strength curve, even past middle, it gets tough 
all the way till close because you have that pulling negative resistance that's coming down. And that right there is a way to develop the bicep even harder than you normally would with dumbbells. So this is what, when people develop these cable machines and came out resistance bands, this was the mindset because this was developed by bodybuilders to get that extra strength curve. If you ever look at old photos of bodybuilders, they're doing arm curls all the way up here. And the reason is because they understood that if I just close it right here by my shoulder, then I'm losing that strength curve. So they continued all the way up to have gravity help them. Resistance bands and cables were invented to help solve that problem. And so that's why if you use resistance bands and cables, you'll see a great benefit than you normally would in free weights. The other thing is that more of a great benefit when it comes to a reason why I feel that resistance bands are better than free weights is that you can travel with them. They're very lightweight. You don't need a lot of space. You don't need a lot of space when you're using uh, resistance bands. If you have a door, a little bit of a hallway, you'll be able to use those bands great. You can take them on the road. You have no excuses if you have resistance bands. You can take them into a hotel. You can go to a friend's house. If you don't have a gym membership, you can just go ahead and use resistance bands right there in your home. Great for a good time right now while we're on lockdown. So that's another added convenience. I mean, you can purchase plates and dumbbells. I have some in my house here, but it's a hassle carrying and moving them from place to place. Um, I actually had it in the, my old apartment and I had to move them over. Uh, the waste got rusty, had to spray them down. I mean, if you're dedicated, you'll do it. I mean, I did it. I'm just letting you know that with resistance bands, all that type of extra things that may be, because when people are starting out, I know it's tough to get going. I've been there before. And any type of little hurdle can stop you from working out. So resistance bands get rid of some of those hurdles that are preventing you. And you have no excuse to go ahead and start working out. Bands can also use in combination of free weights there. So as I was talking about that strength curve when it comes to the dumbbells, you can actually add a band to your dumbbell there. And those that's a little pro tip there. And I'm probably do some more advanced videos when it comes to those there. There's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to resistance bands. One is I need to go heavy to get ripped. You don't need to go heavy to get ripped. You will be challenged when it comes to resistance bands when you're using the proper technique. If you're using a lot of swinging and momentum, like a lot of people do with free weights, you'll say to yourself, oh, I need to go heavier and do this. Like, no, you have terrible technique. If you're doing face pulls at 200 pounds, one, you have bad technique, or two, you had some help. Face pulls itself, I mean, they're very challenging to begin with and when you're doing with resistance bands, you'll see that it's really going to contract that back very well. I have a video about that that I did recently if you want to check that out when it comes to face pulls. Now, the other misconception is that I need free weights for mass. Now, do I need to lift heavy to get big? Yes. That is something that is a part of it. It's not the end all be all, but you will need to lift heavy from time to time. But you don't 100% need free weights to do that. If you go to your local gym, there's cable machines in pretty much all of them and most hotels that I see too. So all that is, is everything I have on my channel when it comes to resistance bands, you can apply that with cables. I do. And what that does is just giving you more efficiency. It's giving you higher um, resistance. So you have plates with the weights on them as far as they go higher and lower, and you can swap them out easily. So those are just tools to use. It's just taking that concept of resistance bands and just adding weight to it. So there's nothing difficult about it. It's just, you need to start thinking that way, is that this is a great tool. Now I know when it comes to free weights, there's a lot of ego lifters out there. You want to feel like a man that you're lifting up all this heavy stuff in here. 
you want to check your ego at the door. A lot of bodybuilders I see at the gym, they actually lift light and their form is impeccable. I see a lot of people who are pushing three, four plates when it comes to a bench press and they have a big gut and they're not exactly the healthiest. I'm not trying to demonize anybody's body or what they're trying to do, but that is a different skill set. That is a power lifter. My channel is all about great physique. And if you want that six pack, if you want those cuts, if you want to look aesthetically proportional, that type of look, resistance bands are going to be the method of getting there, getting you what you want. If you're a power lifter, there's other channels out there that's going to help you with that. But here, if you want that type of aesthetic, just make sure that you follow the workouts that I'm doing. You're paying attention to the technique there and apply those there and check your ego at the door. The other misconception is that bands are only for beginners. No, they're not. Bands, what I find is that I see people as beginners using them. They either get frustrated because they have previous experience with free weights and they're not focusing on technique. They think that just doing it is and showing up is it's what it just doing it and showing up is all you need you need to have intensity when you're doing these workouts a lot of people ask me about rep range and sets when it comes to those i recommend 15 to 20 reps with three sets and you want to struggle at 15 and then if you get to 20 that's an indication to go up but i'm saying that with perfect form if you are not stable and you're rocking or anything like that, do 15 with perfect form and you'll find with many people you're going to go light. And that is not a beginner's recommendation. That's all the way up to advanced there. And the more you do it and the more you increase your knowledge, you'll understand that I don't have to go as heavy as I did with free weights to get that same exact workout. Trust me, if you do these workouts, you're going to be sore. You're going to be uh, the next day. You're going to feel all of that lactic acid, especially if you haven't worked out in a while, even for those advanced ones. I think that I saw my most gains when I completely switched over to using resistance bands because the range of motion of a full stretch and a full contraction was happening with all my exercises versus things were kind of shortened on my free weights. In conclusion, I just want to thank everyone for watching the channel. I recently did a giveaway for a thousand subscribers. I'm thinking about doing another one for 5,000 subscribers as a product right now. I'm testing out. Um, I'm not doing a full review currently, but let me give you a little sneak peek here. So the product that I'm testing out here, it's one of these massage guns where you put the attachment in here. It's one of these massage guns. Uh, Manzo sent this here. Uh, I've never used one before. My wife and I are really enjoying it right now, but wait until the video comes out for the full review so I can give it either a seal of approval or tell you you need to pass. If you're saying to yourself, I don't wanna wait that long, David. I just wanna go ahead and buy it now. I'm like, okay, chill out. Like, you know, you're being a little aggressive, but I'll leave you a link below if you want to purchase it now. Um, I'll leave a link in the description here. But for right now, my wife and I have been loving it. So uh, I want to give it some more time before I put out a review video that you can really understand all the pros and cons of this product. Um, but for right now, it's, 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 it's been a pretty good product. Another question I always get is that, uh, what type of bands do you use? You see all my band videos, you see all my workouts and stuff. It, the ones that I prefer to use are made by Cobons. I'll leave a link in the description below for that for those bands. And I also did a review of the top five bands um, that I use, the pros and the cons. So if you want a full detail on why I prefer these bands, check out that video too. But it's just that I get that a lot, so I just figure I should answer that in the video. And I love having these conversations because when it comes to working out, 
there's also a mindset you must have and thinking about it. And I don't want you to go down this road of watching the videos and you're experiencing doubt. So I like to have these conversations along with the workouts. If you like them too, go ahead and hit that like button so I can make sure that I can give you more detail when it comes to working out. I'm giving you the technique, but there's also a mental aspect to it. Now, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you love it, hit the subscribe button. Check out any of those other videos and workouts so you can get started using bands. This is the channel that puts the technique in your physique. And until next week, bye bye.